This video shows a factor sequencing experience where both Octaverify and Collide are required to complete authentication. First, the user inputs their username and password into Okta, launching authentication and satisfying the knowledge factor requirement. The user is then directed to authenticate with Octaverify and Collide. First, Okta sends the user to validate via Octaverify, therefore satisfying the possession factor requirement, before passing the user to Collide to verify the device and validate its compliance posture. Collide determines if the device has any open issues that require resolution before granting access to the protected SaaS application. If any open issues are present, the user may be required to resolve them before access is allowed. However, if there are no issues, the user passes straight through, completing authentication. Let's see it again, but in real time. First, the knowledge factor. Second, Octaverify as a possession factor. Lastly, Collide. No open issues are found and authentication is complete. How does it work? To enable factor sequencing in Okta Identity Engine, we create a second SAML 2.0 application. This enables Collide to generate an additional SAML request during authentication. It is the secondary request that provides the ability to require the additional possession factor using Okta's authentication policy rules. Once the possession factor has satisfied the secondary SAML request, authentication returns to Collide to verify the device and validate its posture. Together, these provide a tightly integrated multi-factor authentication experience. Visit Collide.com to learn more.